What's up, everybody? This is Tim B. Set M. Shaka, and you are rocking with the best. You are rocking with thisis50.com. I'm the author of Put Your Dreams First, Handle Your Entertainment Business. I wrote the book on the industry from the standpoint of someone who's been in the game across TV, film, music, advertising, uh, you know, creative work for the last 17 years. So I thought it was important to bring that mentorship to the game because a lot of people want to know how to get in the game, how to be successful in the game, how to stay in it, but they rarely get the information they really need to be successful. And I thought I would provide you know, provide that and fill that void. So I started out working at a booking agency called Absolute Artist. Shout out to Bruce Solar. He put me on as his office manager and his uh, contracts manager. And we were working with artists like P Funk, Bootsy Collins, Etta James, Gil Scott Heron. So I was basically working with a lot of artists that, you know, today's artist sample. From there, I became the rap editor of Gavin, which uh, was a magazine that was akin to Billboard based out of the West Coast what's up and um, I was the rap editor there from 1993 to 1998 and there I helped to break many artists by putting them on the cover of the magazine so artists like Common, The Lady of Rage, um, they all got Gavin covers, Bone Thugs and Harmony, Scarface when he became a solo artist, I helped to break Busta Rhymes as a solo artist, shout out to my brother Busta Bust. Uh, from there I also worked with artists like Beyonce, uh, the uh, Destiny's Child franchise, I wrote the campaign for Survivor uh, for the solo albums, the solo debut albums for, of all three girls, uh, Kelly, Beyonce, and Michelle, uh, which is why Matthew Knowles wound up giving me some love on the cover of the book. And from there, I kind of got discovered and I started doing voiceover work. I think the biggest roadblock to being successful in the business for me has been just having people respect the boundaries. You know, I've worked with some of the biggest MCs in the business, 50, Nas, Busta, uh, Wyclef, I mean it goes on, um, but I've never slept with any of them, because that's not what I do to climb up the ladder. No knee pads over here. So, you know, they respect the game, and they respect me for the work that I do, and the work that I put in as an executive, as a creative force. I would absolutely say that it is tougher for women in this business. And the irony of that is that even though men dominate the business, we drive the business. So, you know, for example, with 50, behind him, there's Nicky Martin. Russell Simmons, behind him, people like Lisa Cortez, who's in my book, who's now the executive producer of the movie Precious. She started out working at Def Jam. For every great male mogul, there's usually several women aside them. Put your dreams first. Handle your entertainment business. The book Vanessa Williams calls the definitive blueprint on the inner workings of the business. Author and industry veteran Timbisa Esam Shaka. Well, it's a chapter by chapter breakdown of the industry. It's not just about music. So I have chapters on imaging and beauty, new media. I have a chapter on radio, DJing and turntablism. There is a chapter about the music making process, songwriting, publishing, and A&R. Um, there's a chapter that deals with film and television production, and there are, you know, also chapters that talk about how to get in, what to do if you want to be a star, as opposed to a celebrity, because we know celebrities got about 15 minutes. The stars are the ones that last. And then for people who are already seasoned in the business but trying to figure out how to parlay that into something new, there's a whole chapter about that, like what your exit strategy can be. I have a whole chapter on CEOs, just people that run companies. So it's very informative. I'm not um, leaving any stone unturned. If there's something that you want to know about the industry, you'll find it in this book. The book is in stores everywhere they sell books. It's also online. You can also get it on my website, which is putyourdreamsfirst.com. So, you know, as far as I'm concerned, as long as it ain't on the street being bootleg, we are good to go. Are you willing to, uh, to intern? I started out as an intern. Uh, that My first internship was at De Leon Artists, another booking agency that was where I worked before I got to Bruce at Absolute. And I was working for very little money and I was working like crazy hours. I was at nightclubs in the middle of the night making sure jazz artist contracts got signed and making sure people's money got you know, handed over properly. And I was a college student at the time. So you have to be willing to put your time in and possibly not get compensated monetarily. The compensation comes in other ways. I mean, shout out to everybody I came up with. Y'all know who you are. Like, 
all of my all of my OGs, all of my fellow artists, um, my fellow voice actors, my fellow executives who are now running things. You guys know who you are. If you know me, you know I'm shouting you out right now. Uh, special shout out to C Alive Inc. My company, to my partner T Moore, also T Mizzy on Twitter, T M I Z Y. Shout out to Mecca, my son. You know that's my dude right there. Um, and of course, of course, shout out to G Unit. 50, the G and the family. I mean, you guys are my heart. We've been down since before the bullets, baby. So you know how we get down.